Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Ako po si Herbert R. Bakod, and I am the founder and president of Leaders in Organized Networking. Today, we're going to go through a very important topic, is sponsoring. Sponsoring is the body of the business, sales is the blood of the business, service is the soul of the business, goal setting is the mind of the business, and centering is the house of the business. Now, let's get started with the arts of sponsoring. Dito sa multi-level marketing. Our soul sponsoring is like our body. It holds our muscles and our blood together. Without our body, sa totoo lang, mamamatay tayo. Kaya same thing with our business. Without sponsoring, mamamatay ang negosyo mo. Here are some rules you need to know when you become a sponsor. Number one, yung negosyo natin, hindi head hunting. We are a business to educate people about the opportunity and products. Number two, be passionate and excited about the opportunity and products. Pero what can I OA? Still maintain professionalism. Number three, have a strong posture. Now, yung strong posture, hindi yung straight back, maganda yung forma mo, or maganda yung kilos mo. Ibig sabihin din ng strong posture is to have a bulletproof belief system. Yung tipong napakatatag mo at solid ang foundation mo sa negosyo mo. Kaya be proud, be bold, and be confident. Remember that you're the one giving the opportunity. Number four, be yourself and be the best you can be. One of these days, magkakaroon kayo ng idol dito sa negosyo natin. Gusto nyo gayahin siya, yung kilos niya, kung paano siya magsalita, please lang, huwag nyo po gayahin. Just be yourself and be the best you can be. People will love you and follow you if you are yourself. Number five, you are now accountable and responsible sa mga downlines mo. Kaya please lang, huwag mo lang sila i-recruit. I-sponsor mo sila. Alagaan nyo po sila. Be with them. They're just baby lions. Kaya teach them, protect them, and guide them. Invitation rules. Number one, invite people by using the phone. Never text or email. Bakit? It's easier to get rejected. Madali nga lang mag-text or mag-email. Pero ganun din. Sa kanila din, madali din magsabi na hindi. Busy sila. Number two, kiss your potential partners. Huwag mo halika na. Ibig sabihin ng kiss is keep it super simple. No longer than three minutes over the phone. Number three, be passionate and excited and have the sense of urgency. Number four, mag-smile ka. Alam mo ba, study shows pag nag-smile ka habang nag-uusap sa phone, yung tono ng boses mo nagiging pleasant. Now, ito ang four steps in inviting your potential partners in your business. Step one, create your potential partner list of at least 100. Write their name, their contact number, their SIM card. Bakit SIM card? Lalagay mo dyan Globe, Sun, or Smart. Kasi balang araw, bibili ka ng extra phone or kung may dual SIM kayo, maliloadan nyo ang SIM card nyo, either Smart, Globe, or Sun. So, magiging madali sa'yo kung nilagay mo dyan kung anong mobile carrier na meron sila. Origin. Sa mo ba sila nakilala? Kaibigan mo ba sila sa high school, college, or kapamilya mo sila? Ilalagay mo dyan yung origin. Hot or cold, kaibigan mo ba siya, um, nakilala mo lang, or kapamilya mo siya, best friend mo siya. Pag best friend mo siya, or mga kapamilya mo, or close mo na kaibigan, ilalagay mo hot. Sa mga tao na nakilala mo lang sa mall, kaparkada mo lang, or katropa ng katropa mo, lalagay mo cold. Lalagay mo dito yung attempts, kung ilang beses mo na siya sinubukan tawagin. Kasi baka mamaya, Sampung beses ka na tumatawag, tawag ka ng tawag, pero yung pala, wala na pala yung number na yun. It's out of service. Comments. Sa section nito, dito mo ipoprofile mga potential partners mo. Lalagay mo dyan kung anong importante sa buhay nila. Kahit anong information that can help you win the customer's heart. Remember, this business is winning the people's heart. If you win their heart, you win their business. So when you profile your potential partners, make sure... You add comments that will help you win their heart. And one thing when you create a potential partner list, wag po kayo mag-prejudge. Kasi hindi nyo alam kung sino dyan ang magiging agila at magiging leon at magiging multi-millionaire. At hindi lang yun. Hindi mo alam kung sino kilala ang tao niyan. Baka yung kakilala pa niya ang maging alas mo. Step 2. Invite your hot list first. Bakit? Kasi yung mga family mo at yung mga friends mo na mga kadikit mo, ito yung mga tao na may tiwala sa'yo. 
Kaya yun ang unang-una na i-invite mo sa potential partner list mo. Step 3.1 Ito mga sample scripts. You don't really have to use this script, pero this script will give you an idea kung paano mo kakakusapin mga tao mo. Number 1 this is for the people that knows how to do one-on-one -on -one presentation. Kaya pinakamaganda, pag nagsisimula ka pa lang sa negosyo natin, pag-aralan mo ka agad kung paano kumita sa negosyo nito para pwede ka maging mobile. Hello bro, busy ka ba? Bro, meron lang ako sasabihin na importanteng bagay. Kailan ka libre para dumaan ako sa inyo para pag-usapan natin? Gusto ko sana sabihin sa iyo sa phone pero mas maganda pag-usapan na lang natin sa inyo. Kailan at anong oras ako pwede dumaan sa inyo? Ayan mga kaibigan na napakadali lang po ang script niyan. Pasensya na medyo barok ako na babaluktot ang Tagalog ko. Pero siguro mas kaya niyo sabihin ng script niya na mas maganda kasi mas magaling kayo mag-Tagalog kaysa sa akin. Number 2. Hello bro, busy ka ba? Alam mo ba, excited ako para sa'yo. May pupunta sa bahay namin sa date and time. Nag-work siya sa isang international company na nag-expand dito sa Philippines. Nakwento kita sa kanya kasi naghahanap siya ng mga tao. Napaka-successful ng tao nito sa ginagawa niya at gusto kanya ma-meet. Punta ka sa house para makilala mo siya. Alam ko naman wala ka naman masyadong kinakaabalahan. Asahan kita ha, sasabihin ko na sa kanya na pupunta ka. Kita na lang tayo sa bahay namin, okay? Alam mo, hirap na hirap ako mag-Tagalog talaga. Gusto ko sana i-English eh. Translate ko lang to sa English to Tagalog. Ito yung script na ginagamit ko yung nasa US pa ako. Nag-network ako sa US. Yung nag-translate nito is yung asawa ko. Ang galing niya mag-translate, no? Power! Power! Okay, number three. Hello, bro. Busy ka ba? Hindi naman. Ganito, bro. Ini-invite kita sa bahay namin. May konting handang merienda. May pupunta lang sa bahay para mag-explain ng isang opportunity na pwede natin pagkakita. Pupunta siya sa bahay namin sa date at time. Maasahan ba kita na makakapunta ka? Ganun lang mga script na napaka-simple. Remember, when you invite someone over the phone, just be excited. Give them that sense of urgency. Ako paminsan ito sinasabi ko eh. Napakasimple lang eh. Hello bro, busy ka ba? Ah, uh, okay lang. You know what? I have great news for you. I am so excited for you. Ngayon, sasabihin niya, bakit? Ganito bro, may nakita ako isang magandang opportunity na pwede natin pagkakitaan. Kailan ka ba libre? Dadaan ako sa inyo. Pag sinabi niya ngayon, edi dumahan ka na. Ito naman yung ibang script na ginagawa ko. Hello bro, busy ka ba? Kasi ganito bro, you know what, I have great news for you. Nikilala ko, international businessman, nag expansion ng negosyo dito sa Philippines. Alam mo ba, naghahanap siya ng mga tao? At sinabi niya, kung mikilala ako na pwede siya tulungan ma-expand ang negosyo niya dito sa Philippines. Alam mo, una naisip ko, bro, ikaw naisip ko. Ito pa ang pinakamaganda, pupunta siya sa bahay namin bukas sa mga alas tres. Alam mo bro, pumunta ka sa bahay namin, papakilala ka dun. Huwag ka na pa petex-petex ha, basta aas saan kita ha, punta ka sa bahay namin ha huwag mo ko pahiyain ha, eto napaka successful ang tao nito, huwag mo pahiyain ha okay, sige bye, see with those simple scripts is gonna make you millions of millions of pesos, one of these days gagawa ka na sarili mong script na comfortable ka, now these sample script will help you and guide you to invite people to your business number 3.2 frequent ask question Sasabihin nila, well, ano ba yung nature ng negosyo na yan? Ano ba yung company niya? Sabihin nyo lang, bro, alam mo ba? Hindi ko din alam eh. Nakilala ko lang tao nito. Sa alam ko, international company siya nag expand dito sa Philippines. Or, sabihin mo, alam mo, honestly bro, hindi ko naman talaga alam. Hindi ko din kaya explain sa sa'yo. Hindi naman ako expert dyan eh. Alam mo, just do me this big favor and drop by kasi kailangan mo makilala ang tao nito. At alam ko, magugustuhan mo may makikita mo. Yung number two, question. Pag nagtanong kung ano yung products, sabi mo yung totoo, ano ba yung products? Pero wag mo bigay yung buong detail. Sabi mo lang kung skincare ang focus ng products nyo, skincare, kung food supplement, food supplement, kung beverages, beverages. Sabi mo lang, bro, alam mo, parang narinig ko sa kanya, sinabi niya sa skincare industry daw sila eh. Number three, networking ba to? Alam mo, pag sinabi nila networking at pinipilit nila kung talaga networking, sabi mo na ganito, aminin nyo na na networking. Sabi mo, oo, networking to. Alam ko yung industry nito may or may not be for you. Marami na din ako nakita ng network company, pero yung company nito kakaiba. And play the do you trust me card. And ito para sabihin niya na, bro, may tiwala ka ba sa akin? Gano'ng katagal na ba tayong magkakilala? Pare, we've been friends for the longest time. Just come, trust me, you would want to meet 
the person I'm going to introduce to you. Pag ayaw mo din, no big deal. Magkaibigan pa rin tayo. Hindi kita ipo-force. Pero pag gusto mo, sige, pagtulungan natin. Basta bro ha, aasahan kita. Pumunta ka sa amin ha. Pag ganyan ang counter-attack mo sa mga tao nagtatanong ng mga ganyan na questions, mas makukuha mo sila sa mga presentations nyo. Step 4, remember to follow up. Now, follow up one day before the event. Pagkatapos ng event, and make sure to follow up your guests 48 hours after the event. Ito, simple lang mga follow-up script eh. Tatawagan mo lang kaibigan mo. Sasabihin mo lang, Hello bro, kamusta na? When are we gonna get started with the business? Alam mo sa Friday, pupunta ako sa office. Sama ka sa akin para makita natin kung paano gawin ang negosyo. Kasi ituturo sa office kung paano gawin yung negosyo. So paano bro? Asahan kita, nasasama ka sa akin ha? Now, understand the law of averages. Number one, you will average one out of ten. Bakit? Kasi baguhan ka pa lang. Kaya yung averages mo is low. Pero in time, when you get the experiences and skills, your averages will increase. It's all about the numbers game. What you lack in skills, you can make up in numbers. So kahit hindi ka magaling at hindi ka skillful at experienced na tao, you can make up in numbers. Pero mo to, if you talk to 100 people, then you'll get 10. Kung masipag ka talaga, kausapin mo 1,000 people, then you'll get 100. No one is perfect. Professional and veteran networkers can only average 3 out of 10. Beyond 3 is very rare. Genius na yan. Pag nakapag-sponsor siya, more than 3 out of 10. Kaya don't be hard on yourself. Some will, some won't. So what? Next, inex mo lang mga tao na ayaw sa opportunity natin. You also have to remember timing versus talent. Pwede ka magbigay na pinaka best presentation at pwede mo ipakilalas yung tao mo sa pinaka top earner sa kompanya natin. Pero the person won't join if the timing is not right. Kaya spend one minute with 100 people, not 100 minute with one person. At ito lang, wala ka masasabi na tama pag mali sa timing ang tao. Pero pag nasa timing ang tao, nasa right timing, sa totoo lang kahit mali pa ang sinasabi mo, kahit magkamali-mali ka sa presentation mo at hindi naiintindihan ng tao, pag right timing ang person na yan, sasali yan sa negosyo mo. Kaya it's timing, it's not talent. Kaya go do the numbers game. Never give up on the people that says no. Yung mga potential partners mo, pag humindi, ibig sabihin, hindi lang ngayon. Parang nasabi nga ng mentor ko eh. Seven no's means yes. Kaya be persistent. And one of these days, mauubos ang potential partner list mo. Kaya starting now, prospect as you go. Do not go prospecting. Paano prospect as you go? Just talk to more people. Paano? The strangers that you meet, lahat na nang makausap mo, mag small talks lang kayo. Yung barbero mo, yung bantay sa tindahan, it could be anybody. It could be your seatmate sa loob ng bus. You'll never run out of prospect if you talk to people. Ito, napakasimple lang mag-prospect. Anyone you come across, mag-smile lang kayo and say hi. Yun lang, napakasimple lang. Sa smile mo pa lang at sa pag-hi mo, contagious ang smile. At pag nag-hi ka, natural instinct ng mga tao is mag-respond. Pagkakataon mo yan para mag-hit ng conversation. Kaya practice it and you'll see great results. So una, medyo nahiya ka pa. Pero sige, tira ka na ng tira. Mag-smile ka na ng mag at mag ka na ng mag sa mga tao na kikita mo. You'll see, you'll get better and better and better and better. No action is no interaction, which is business loss. Pero pag nag-smile ka at nag ka, that is a positive action. You get positive interaction and you have a business connection. Kaya never go prospecting. Prospect as you go. Now one cool tip so you could create a conversation is use form. Family, occupation, recreation, and message. And I would advise sa mga tao na seryoso sa negosyo natin. Please read the book on How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. And also read the book of Conversation Power by James Von Fleet. These two books is very powerful that can help you win a lot of people and help you engage into conversation to people you don't know. I'd like to thank you guys all for watching this Lion Leadership Program about the arts of sponsoring. Ako po ulit, si Herbert Arbacod. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you guys all. May you guys all have a wonderful day. God bless and happy networking.